వెల్కమ్ టు సోషల్ పోస్ట్ హెల్త్ ఛానల్ వ్యూవర్స్ ఐ డాక్టర్ చావా ఆంజనేయులు సీనియర్ కన్సల్టెంట్ ఈఎన్టి సర్జన్ అండ్ చైర్మన్ ఫర్ ఏషియన్ ఈఎన్టి కేర్ సెంటర్ లొకేటెడ్ ఇన్ పంజాగుట్ట హైదరాబాద్ ఏషియన్ ఈఎన్టి కేర్ సెంటర్ ఈజ్ అండ్ ఆల్ అడ్వాన్స్డ్ డయాగ్నోస్టిక్ అండ్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఫెసిలిటీస్ ఫర్ ఇయర్ నోస్ త్రోట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ హీరింగ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ టెనిటస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ స్నోరింగ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ అండ్ వాయిస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ many people they are using nasal drops for the nasal block they are using weeks months years using this nasal drops decongestant decongestant nasal drops oxymetazolin xylometazolin is not good you can use this rarely in emergency once in a while many ads are coming regarding oxymetazolin xylometazolin as it is immediate relief getting attraction to the people it is not good they are giving ad only for the use of these drops for emergency purpose immediately they say contact a physician that means it is not good to use these drops for long time mainly these drops helps immediately to reduce the nasal block by decongesting the nasal mucosa especially inferior turbinate mucosa it constrict the blood vessels it reduce the size of the mucous glands reduce the secretions of the mucus thereby it will improve your airway but long term use of this nasal drops will create severe problem like rhinitis medicamentosa this is very serious problem danger problem once it develops and become serious it is difficult to treat this even with surgery because of the hypertrophy of the nasal mucosa you can't remove this total hypertrophied mucosa because if you remove that patient will have the problem of rhin atrophic rhinitis so we should not remove too much mucosa if you don't remove too much mucosa this hypertrophied glands will not give much relief regarding the nasal airway improvement so we should avoid this development of rhinitis medicamentosa by avoiding long term use of nasal drops whenever you have nasal obstruction most of the times this is due to the inferior turbinate hypertrophy it happens mainly those who are stress patients who have more stress who work with more pollutants who work more in infected cold weather especially infected cold weather normal cold weather may not give that much problem but infected polluted cold weather gives severe problem by increasing the viral infections nowadays in outside atmosphere also there are more pollutants more viral infection both inflame the nasal turbinate mucosa and cause this problem we can easily diagnose this turbinate hypertrophy by the nasal endoscopic examination and in this we see the hypertrophied nasal mucosa now we can treat this hypertrophied mucosa by simply applying coagulator submucosally to the inferior turbinate very simple procedure bloodless procedure no need to take rest no need to stay in hospital no need to go for the nasal packing we simply put the probe submucosally onto the inferior turbinate we induce the fibrosis we reduce the size of the inferior turbinate thereby patient will get good relief regarding this nasal obstruction if you have any nasal obstruction due to inferior turbinate hypertrophy stop use of nasal drops do minor procedure get it done that coagulate reduction of the inferior turbinate you can get good relief if you have nasal obstruction problem contact asian ent care center located in panjagutta hyderabad they do the reduction of the inferior turbinate with coagulator laser radio frequency and they reduce the sort of turbinate size and thereby it will improve your airway for further update subscribe social post health channel youtube